The first sign will be Imam Mahdi, the appearance of Imam Mahdi. This person is coming from the progeny of Ali عنه, the fourth caliphate of Islam. Family of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, his son Imam Hassan عنه, his progeny, his ancestry or his generation, future generation descendants amongst them will be one person whose name will be Muhammad Imam Mahdi and he will be having the same name of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu father same name mother's name Abdullah Amina and his name will be Muhammad and his forehead will be like just similar like a Prophet Muhammad peace one he is from Arab not from India that lunatic Mirza Ghulam Ahmad claimed that Kafir Murtad that swine not him he will be from Arab his mother tongue will be Arabic understand this is very clear and he will born at age, age, the age of 40 Allah will guide him into the circumstances where he will be claimed or he will be recognized rather I say that he is Imam Mahdi that's sign number one sign number two appearance of Dajjal who is the Jal? Antichrist. You see, Jews, they thought that we killed Jesus Christ, the son of Mary from Nazareth. And they are waiting for somebody else where Allah says that Jesus was sent and he was the right. But according to them, they killed him in inverted commas. So it was the good riddance uh, came for, just became for the Jews and good redemption for those Christians now. Christendom, good redemption. For Jews, good riddance. What Allah says, neither they killed him nor crucified him, but it was made to appear them so. So they don't know what really happened. Allah says, we put, took Jesus alive and he will come back. So Dajjal is who? The one who tricks materialistic person who will keep all the people away from spiritualism and believe in manipulated atoms and these atomic numbers these molecules these matter three-dimensional space after the big bang everything shaitan satan is been alluring people that this is everything do not believe in hereafter this is the trial and tribulation of the jal the trickster Jesus Christ also mentioned in Matthew 24, 24, he says, Lo, there will be the person who will say that here is the Christ or I am the Christ. So Jesus said, so there shall arise many false Christ and false prophets, even to show you many signs and the wonders and the feats. Even my own elective disciples could be deceived by such of those miracles and feats of Antichrist. Be vigilant, O my disciples. Be warned, O oh my disciples. Be alert, O oh my disciples. This is the trial of Antichrist. He will claim that Antichrist. Where Prophet says, when the Jal will come, he will be blinded from right eye, the right eye of spiritualism, and he will be opened by only left eye, the eye of materialism, and he will do fitna. The third sign, Jesus Christ will come and he will come and he will kill this Dajjal at the place we call it Lud where it is Israel International Airport now when Jesus Christ will come Imam Mahdi will become this, this uh, uh, freeing the people of Palestine from Jerusalem by the hands of Jews and he will be taking leading the army towards Syria Damascus in a white minute of masjid Jesus Christ will be ascended by the Amr of Allah with two angels and once you reach to the masjid the time of Fajr will come Imam Mahdi will lead the prayer not Jesus Christ so the people will not say that Jesus brings some new religion remember that if Jesus comes it does not break the finality of Prophet Muhammad Peace be because peace be, peace be upon him because no new prophet would be coming after Prophet Muhammad said, not the previous prophet says Ana Muhammad Ana Ahmad La Nabi Abadi no prophet be coming after me not the previous prophet coming after me so it breaks the finality no 
no new prophet will come if no alayhi salam comes again now in this dunya by the order of allah it does not break any finality of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam remember that he is the last and the seals of the prophets no prophet and messenger coming after him this is clear so he will lead the prayer and then he will march to kill dajjal then the fourth major signs yajuj and majuj gog and magog after the noah's blood so in noah's flood three children survived sham ham yafish sham semites semitics ham the other japanese or indian aryan non aryan people came and the third son was japheth his 11th son's name was yajuj and the 12th majuj gog and magog these were the descendants of these two people two children and they were living in some minor asia this mountainous range of caucasus mountainous range where you see russia and georgia between there is a whole stripe of strip of mountainous range one side caspian sea other side black sea and over there these people were there uh, many historians they speculated by this was the place where they were captured why because this was done by cyrus the great not alexander the great please cyrus the great was the person who joined two great empires macedonia into one so they named him a guy with two horns zulkarnain cyrus the great according to quran surah al kahf he was a righteous king of persia iran current days and allah we gave him some kind of power that he closed those people into some kind of iron made walls till now they are stuck and allah says in the quran that these people will be scot free in surah kahf and surah in another place and they will bring mischief into the world a great mischief and chaos that human cannot even imagine into the deepest figment and then what happens then jesus christ will pray to allah ya allah do something he will bring all the people to the top of the mountain after killing the dajjal and then he will pray to allah then allah will send some kind of termites or insects which will cut the spinal cords of these people and they will die profusely and then their bodies will be so much in the abundance that the smell and the dirt then allah will order the big birds to take their bodies and dump some kind of sewer or sewerage allahu alam this is the uh, prophecies prophet sallam said this way then the earth will be normal for 40 years jesus christ will procreate will have children will marry and then he will die as a natural death and he will be buried beside the grave of prophet muhammad peace be upon him which is vac vacant uh, near masjid an nabawi beside the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's grave in medina this is the time all this uh, scenarios a situation the fifth major sign the smoke you see the way we are seeing the world it could be a great kind of global warming look prophecies can go back and forth it doesn't mean that exactly this happened this is a time prophet says when the pendant will be broken from the necklace the pearls will fall like in a speedy way we don't know the pace of those pearls is like one after another one after another So this great smoke could be atomic bomb, fumes, could be the fumes of something unnatural ozone, something uh, unnatural emissions. We don't know harmful gases. Allahu alam, which will protect believers, but disbelievers will pay the price. The topic was only five, first five, but let me give you the sixth one at the end. You see, the sixth sign, great, will the mark of the beast. which is mentioned in the bible book of revelation 666 but is not in a clear way but in islam we have a clear picture of this 666 bark of the beast is like kind of animal it's also mentioned in surah al-naml chapter 27 allah mentioned that this beast will mark people and this is one of the great tests from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that beast will be having the staff of moses and the signet of solomon and with those all powers with the staff he will uh, mark the people who are righteous and with the cigarette he will mark the people who are not righteous and the marks of their sins will come on their foreheads 
and this is signed kind of like like you know uh, uh, when you clean the stuff you know and then you uh, clean the stuff and then you produce the results out of it it will like like sifting it will just like a sifting of things and all that stuff goes with it this beast will not have a co cordial relationship it is the test for everyone to test one by one that who is do done who has done what or did what in the past these are the six major six major signs of yawm al qiyamah the other four inshallah i will continue in the next addendum of this series may allah protect us with all these kind of ordeals all these kind of tests this is not something easy the way we think the yawm al qiyamah at the uh, the presence of sahaba prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was crying profusely his beard was full of tears one of the disciples of prophet says that ya muhammad oh muhammad peace be upon you why are you crying he said that i saw angel israfil the angel who will blow the trumpet angel israfil that he is spread amongst the whole of the universe his wings are spread and his eyes are looking towards the arsh of allah and the trumpet is near to his lips and he's about to blow when i saw this i've cried and you're asking why i'm crying because this is what i am seeing the trumpet is near to the lips of israfil alayhi salam this is what prophet says his first sign his birth and the death of prophet sallam is the first sign of yawm al qiyamah and 1400 years are gone imagine in which time and era and which eon we are standing right now look at the world what happening all the minor signs are fulfilled only the remains major signs and major signs are also getting fulfilled we can see any time the currents and the waves are supporting our megadon the last war the last war al malhamatul uzma you can sense that there is something coming up the future events cast their shadows before may allah protect with all these kinds of wars but these things will happen because these are the prophecies of allah these are the prophecies of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam not prophecy of allah the truth from allah which is which are prophesied by prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and this thing will happen these things will happen either you like it or not how hard you close your eyes from these realistic world you need to know that there is a spiritual world and you plan allah is the greater planner than you wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin